Okay, let's look at the download of Zen Server. The Zen Server product is a good alternative to EasyPHP if you want to use Oracle as your database server. Now you can obtain Zen Server for free from www.zend.com slash en slash products slash server slash free edition where you'll find the download link which of course takes you straight to the download. If you're installing on Windows you will find uh, an MSI version there but notice there are also versions for Linux and also for the Macintosh running OS X as well which might also be useful for you. Now I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to minimize the browser right now I have the Zen Server MSI, actually it's an executable installer in this case, um, on my desktop. So I'll just double click to start it running, uh, get it going, it unpacks itself. This will extract the Zen Server MSI installer package. I'm actually running this in my laptop in a hotel room, which is why it's a little slower than normal. And now the installer started up. Uh, you can see here we just have the usual welcome message followed by the license agreement. Uh, it has the usual kinds of dire consequences if you do the wrong things. So I'll accept the license agreement, click on next. I'm going to choose the custom install to show you the various options that are available. If I now click custom and click on the custom setup page, you'll see there are a variety of extensions which are possible. Uh, and in particular, uh, you'll see down here it allows you to install the Oracle OCI driver which is useful if you intend to connect to an Oracle server which is one of the options. Now, I already have MySQL installed in this machine so I don't need to download that. As I say I'm actually running on a broadband connection in a hotel room so I don't want to download too much anyway. So I'll click on next and let the um, installation proceed. You can see it's going to install an Apache server rather than using IIS We'll run it on the usual ports, port 80 for the web server and 10081 uh, for the Zen server interface. And now it just clicks to review the installation settings and off it goes and starts the install. So it will allow it to um, uh, connect on private networks, not public, obviously. I'll 
create a shortcut on the desktop and that really completes the installation.